Good morning. It's the 4th of July and we are getting ready to celebrate with all our friends and family. And so I thought I would just kind of show you how I get ready for the party. We have a buffet, so it makes it easy for everyone to serve themselves. And I set up the buffet like two days before the party. That way you're not rushing around like a chicken with your head cut off the day of the party. Um, I decorate the table. To, uh, this year I did it with lemons and limes and plants. And I just kind of put all of that on the back since it's a one-sided buffet. And uh, that way it's pretty but it doesn't get in the way of the dishes and the food. Um, I go ahead and put out all my bowls that I'm going to put the chips and dips and it's always good to have layers on your buffet table and that way it is a really good use of space and you can get more items on the table. For instance, um, I used a wooden crate here and on the top is a basket full of hot dog buns and then on the inside of the crate are all the fixings for the hot dogs and these cute little baskets that you can put your hot dog and your chips in. So see that serves double duty and it takes up less space and, um, and it looks really pretty too. Uh, we buy, we cheat, we're bad. We buy the pre-cooked barbecue that comes in the tub and we put it in crock pots and we put our hot dogs in a crock pot and let me tell you if you'll put your hot dogs in a crock pot squirt a little ketchup in there just it cooks the best hot dog it has the best taste and you wouldn't think it would be anything special but it really does make a good hot dog in a crock pot um, I put all my serving trays out all my bowls that my chips and dips are going to go in and just get it all ready and that way the day of the party you won't be in a tizzy and all you have to do is come in here and open the bags and plop in the dips and put on the casserole dishes. We like to make dishes that you can make ahead of time because there's you don't feel like getting up cooking all morning and then having a party that afternoon. You're tired and cranky by that point. So, like yesterday, we made um, potato salad, English pea salad, seafoam salad, and coleslaw. So, that's all done. And today, all we have to do is pull it out of the refrigerator and put it on the table. Um, we also buy the macaroni and cheese that um, you just put in the oven and cook. You know, Stouffer's has a fabulous mac and cheese. And of course, all the children love that. And um, one of their favorites, so it's a win-win. It's easy for me and it's great for the kids. Um, today, the only thing I'll have to make is baked beans, which, you know, how easy is that? And um, just put the mac and cheese in the oven. So you see how easy that was and it's not a lot of fuss and you don't get wore out and um, you'll be rested and ready for your party instead of wore out and tired and grumpy. There's nothing easier than decorating for the 4th of July. Stick a few flags out. It looks really festive. Took you two seconds and you're ready to roll. Got a little 4th of July pinwheel there. And don't forget the fun. Always bring fun stuff for your guests to do. I just blew this up. I also have 
glow stick bracelets for when it gets dark. And I have glow stick necklaces for when it gets dark. And then, for the day, I have water balloons. All right. We have a bucket that we sit outside on the deck. We fill it, fill it full of ice and we put waters and drinks and stuff like that in it. So nobody ever goes thirsty at your party. We have a jar full of pinwheels for the little children and it makes a great table decoration. sugar in them to taste, garlic, salt, and then to make it look like you really tried hard, put some bacon on the top, put them in the oven, 350, and bake for about 30 minutes. Yum, yum. Okay, so I made a little boo-boo. Got the float all blown up. But I don't think it'll fit out the door. We'll see. <laughs> Leave it to me. <laughs> yep. So we'll say, well, that didn't work. Can it be done? Don't you have an electrical outlet outside? I do. Okay, let's go there. Okay. She's brilliant. She's got it all figured out. Pop the middle. I don't know. It's the first time it's been Oh. Can that work? Yeah. Here's Nanny rocking her 4th of July outfit. Isn't she precious? Happy Fourth! Corn casserole, barbecue, green beans out of the garden, potato salad, artichoke dip, deviled eggs, coleslaw, barbecue ribs, another potato salad, macaroni and cheese, hot dogs, chips, chips, cheese grits, cocktail sausages, baked beans, nacho dip, oh and anyway this is all the food food now let me show you the desserts. Fourth of July cake, homemade strawberry cake, Homemade Italian cream cake, <clears throat> Rice Krispie treats, brownies, and sugar cookies.
So the day is over. Everybody had a wonderful time. We got to relax and catch up with family and friends. And um, we just had a great day. I hope y'all had a wonderful fourth. And I wanted to mention also that um, on top of all the cooking we do, we also ask our guests to bring their favorite dish. And that's how we end up with all that wonderful food. So it makes it easier for everyone and you have such a variety of good stuff to eat. It just makes it fun. So thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and God bless.